Hey, I'm Tom from Dive In, and right here I have the weighted Subnado uh, underwater scooter. In this video, I'm going to talk a bit about the experience uh, using this one underwater. Um, I'm going to talk about um, how I like this, comparing it to some of the other models that we've been testing here on Dive In. And last but not least, I'm going to tell you who I think should buy this product. Let's dive in. The Subnado is brand new from Waydo. Um, it's running on Kickstarter still, so you can get uh, a good price on it right now. Afterwards, I'm not sure which price is going to land, but we had this one out testing in the pool and it's it's fun toy uh, to be playing around with. Um, they have, which we haven't seen anywhere else, uh, they have different mounts on it, so you can mount it on your arms, you can mount it on legs. We've seen that on a few of the other ones, but mounting on arms is, is brand new, which, which kind of gives you this Superman feeling that you mount it here, you can actually be flying underwater. Um, that's a fun gimmick. They also have a mount a uh, rail that you can hold in your hand similar to to almost all the other underwater scooters so there's a bit of options for for any taste really um we tested it out mounting it on arms and mounting it on legs uh, and this gives you a good feeling it's a, it's a fun to try out uh, in the beginning on the legs it's a bit difficult actually to control in the water uh, in the pool at least because you kind of have a feeling that you're going all the way around but once you get a hold of it it's a fun thing to do Power-wise, this one is really good. If I'm going to be comparing it to some of the other ones, we have the scuba jet that's one of the most powerful um, of the smaller underwater jets. The Subnado is not up there, but it, it's just as powerful as the Lafitte. Uh, I really think Subnado fine-tuned the size of this one really well. Uh, and this just makes it possible for you to mount them on your arms and give you this Superman feeling. I really enjoy that one. That said, I do think I would prefer the mounted rail so you can hold on and you can actually put it away or chuck it in on a VCD but but that's preferences um, to watch what you like. Uh, I love the feeling for it uh, for everyday use I would like the rails I think that's easier to use. Controlling it um, uniquely because I've never seen this before we have a fingering controller as you can see here hands in here and then it's operated by thumb. Listen to the sound of this one. And you operate, uh, you control the speeds by pushing. And you can hear it beeping. This works on the water as well. So you're pushing up power, as you can see here. Uh, and that's really nice as well. It's wired, which means there's direct connection from the button. The moment you push, it will start riding straight away. So it's, it's a direct connection for it. Um, cons about this wire, I think it's a bit tricky to have these wires, especially when it's mounted on the legs. It's a, wire that goes all the way to your fingers and definitely can get attached to something on the water if you're using that way. If you're having it as a rail mount, then there's no issues with, with the wire at all. Here we have some comparisons of, of the ones we've been reviewing lately. Um, comparing it to the Yamaha, it's a completely different game. Uh, this is an old fashioned scuba, underwater scooter design and it doesn't really compare at all uh, when you see it to the more modern one. So I'm just going to leave it on there so you can get the chance or get the, the view of, of how they look. Most of you guys know how this one looks uh, because you've seen them out there and these are more new uh, in the designs of it. You can definitely see Subnano really comparing well in terms of size. It's higher than, than most of them, not the scuba jet, but it's definitely a lot, uh, lot thinner than all of them combined weight-wise as well. This is almost half of, of the Lafitte um, and definitely a lot less than the scuba jet. Power-wise as well, this uh, Subnado comes in second just after the scuba jet. That's the most powerful one we've been testing out. Lafitte and Teeny White Shark is, is, is up there with power, but, but it doesn't come uh, in as well as the Subnado here. I promised you in the beginning of the video, I'll tell you who I think should buy this one. First, I'm just going to talk about a, a few of the things I like and, and some of the things I don't like about this one. First off, uh, size and power. Um, usually when we see um, an underwater scooter with this much power, we'll see them in a larger size as well. Um, Subnado is, is small and compact, uh, lightweight as well, but really packing power. I love that one. They have easy to turn off, turn on, uh, easy to charge as well on the front here. You can even see the battery light. Uh, and it works, it doubles actually as a power bank, so you can actually charge your phone or something like that uh, from this one. I'm not sure I'm gonna be using it for that, but it's, it's a cool uh, gimmick as well. 
the mounts they have different mounts and i like that um for me personally i think i would go for the rails but but having this superman feeling of of uh, mounting on, on your arms and stretching in out and just rolling with it. It's it's a cool, fun feeling. Uh, so I like that. And it gives you options in terms of what you like. Ring controller. I like the touch of a button uh, sending it off. I'm not too fan of the wire. I like remote controls because I'm afraid of, of tangling this one. We haven't done it yet, but I think I could be afraid of tangling in. It's a small thing. And then the size of the ring is a bit small. Uh, it fits well for my fingers, but if a were a bit larger on my hands, I think I would have it a bit too snug on that. That's the only negative parts I have about it. And you can actually just hold it in your hands without putting fingers through. So it's possible to go even if you have larger size hands. So who should buy this one? Well, you're looking for uh, toys in the pool, toys of the ocean, snorkeling with it. You can't even bring it scuba diving. It's definitely price point that is really good. So it's definitely something you should consider buying if you're looking for an underwater scooter. It's, it's compact, um, it's lightweight, so it's easy to bring as well. If you're bringing the more heavy ones and you are going traveling, it's a hassle, um, it, it really is. But this one packs in really neat, so it's, it won't be that big of a hassle. That was uh, the short review of this one. We have more details, uh, more specs on it. Uh, click the link below. It will take you to diving.com. We can read all the in-depth facts. We'll update you as well as we try to break this one as good as we can. Uh, if we succeed, we'll definitely tell you about it. Uh, if we don't, well, it's just a, a better step for the recommendations of this one. I'm Tom from Dive In, and this is the Subnano from Waydo.